When you click the login button on the superhero screen, first you need to assign the superhero ID which is in the text input in the super code variable and the password in the super code variable. Next, we need to check if we have registered before using this superhero ID and password. For that, it needs to be checked the record in the superheroes table. If you have registered, it needs to be displayed on the landing screen. Now, I drag an on event code block here. Now, to assign the text in the text input to the variables, I click variables and drag 2x equal code blocks into the on event code block. In the first code block, the name of the variable is given as superhero ID. A get text code block in the UI controls is dragged to the right side of the equal sign. Here, you need to give the name of the text input. I'll click on this arrow and select ID. The name of the next code block is changed as super code. Like before, let's drag a get text code block under UI controls to the right side of the equal sign and select code from here. Next, we need to check whether the current superhero ID and the super code match the superhero ID and super code in any record of the table. For that, a read records code block under data is dragged here. Let's give the name of the table here as super users. Here, every record in the table needs to be checked. For that, we can use the for loop in this code block. We can check the records in the table by using a variable called i starting from 0, which increases 1 by 1. So, let's keep the for loop like this and remove the console.log code block here. I drag this code block to clear this section. Now, we need to check whether the superhero ID is equal to the superhero ID in the record called I and whether the super code is equal to the super code in the record called I. Let's drag an if code block under controls into this for loop. For the condition, a code block with the and sign under map is dragged here. Let's drag two code blocks with two equal signs under map to the right and the left side of the and sign. Here, superhero ID is given. To the right of the equal sign, it needs to be given as records box bracket i dot superhero id but for that since there is no code block we have to type and prepare this section for that i click on the show text and type as records box bracket i dot superhero id to the right of the equal sign in front of superhero id now let's click on show blocks again in the same way here, it is typed as super code and click on show text again. Now, to the right of the equal sign, it is given as records box bracket i dot super code. Now again, click on show blocks and if this condition is true, the landing screen should be displayed. I click on UI controls and drag a set screen code block here. From here, let's select the screen we need. I choose landing. Also, on the welcome button in the landing screen, along with the word welcome, the superhero name we have given should be displayed. For example, if we have given Raj as the superhero name, we need to display as Welcome Raj. I click UI controls again and drag a set text code block here. Let's choose the name of the button as welcome from here. For the text, a code block with a plus sign in the map section is dragged. Because the text needs to be displayed in the middle, not at the top of the button, it is given as slash to the left of the plus sign in inverted commas. Let's drag a code block with a plus sign to the right side of the plus sign on the map again. Here, welcome is typed in inverted commas. To the right of the plus sign, it needs to be given as records box bracket i dot superhero name. But since there is no code block for that, let's type this part. I click on show text here and type as 
records box bracket i dot superhero name. Now click on show blocks again. Right. 